Hey there, everybody. We are here at the Cub House in San Marino, also known as It's Not a Bike Shop on the Instagram. Uh, but you guys have started a bike brand. Can you tell us about it? Uh, yes. Um, it's called Beach Club. And we started kind of because we always wanted to make our own bike. We started with steel bikes and we just started making some aluminum bikes. Uh, some are made here. Some are made in Italy. Let's start with this one. Okay. What's this guy up here on the wall? That is our gravel bike. Um, that's made here in Portland at uh, Simple. Um, it's called the Gravioli, and it's all Columbus Zona tubing. Um, and we kind of thought with all our bikes, like, let's make the bike that we would want. So you, you guys have a gravel bike. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming this is part of the new, like, aluminum line? Yeah, new aluminum gravel bike, and they're anodized. Um, not painted, which is kind of cool, um, and that one we call the Al Dente because yeah. they're a little bit stiffer than the steel bikes. Um, <laughs> Let's talk tire clearances. Like, oh, what, yeah. what's the tire clearance on the Gravioli as opposed to Al Dente? Uh, the Gravioli is a little bit bigger. Um, okay. it, it'll fit 745 for sure, and some bigger tires. You know how that is with rims and tires and stuff. Uh, 650, like 2.1 probably. The aluminum bike is a little more. Performancey, I guess you could say. Uh, it'll fit a 44, 700, and it's not ideally made for 650. It's kind of like a 700C bike. So this looks like a, a complete yep. of the aluminum. Yes. Aluminum gets a bad rap. I mean, what's, what do you say to people about that? <laughs> I think, I mean, because we can use big, cushy tires now and low tire pressure, um, there's definitely room for aluminum bikes, and the price point is lower than a handmade steel bike, so... It's kind of a fun, you know, entryway into a rad gravel bike. Do they, do they build up lighter than the steel equivalents? For sure. Okay. Definitely lighter. Yeah. Um, so that's the thing. And it is like over washboard. Um, you know, it's a little bit stiffer. But other than that, they're super, super rad. So what's this one? That is kind of a secret bike that <laughs> people sort of know about. Um, but we started Beach Club with a rim brake road bike, which was kind of like everyone was like, you guys are crazy. <laughs> and then we said we'd never, ever make a disc brake road bike. So this is the disc brake road bike, ah. and it's called the sellout with a big <laughs> money sign for the S because, unfortunately, disc brake road bikes are a thing. Yeah. <laughs> How did the rim brake uh, road bike sell? Um, pretty well, actually, which is cool. Um, I think people still have like a soft spot for rim brake road bikes, and everyone's got a rim brake group sitting at home in a box. So yeah. why not put it on a cool handmade frame? Let's talk about this stuff. So it looks like you guys have expanded <laughs> beyond just the uh, the bikes. What's, what's going on here? This is our friend has a clothing brand, and she makes one-off shirts. It's called Coats with a Z. Um, and they're all like hand done and she quilts fabric together and finds vintage fabric um, and they're super, super cool and she makes one. There's no like multiple options or anything. It's one and done. Who is the Beach Club Bikes for? I mean, at first I think we were like, let's build bikes that we would run a ride. Yeah. And then kind of for anyone, the fun thing is like, we do them in batches. So um, we do batches of like 20 for the steel bikes. Um, so then it kind of like you're getting a full custom bike, but a little bit, a slightly lower price point mm -hmm. for a hand-built bike. And I think the cool thing is every single one has been built up differently that we've done. And we've done maybe 80 bikes now, oh, which is yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there have been all kinds of like people that are like gravel racing on them to like people doing super just chill, hangout bikes, you know? Yeah. Uh, so if someone wants to get a bike, where do they go? Uh, they go to, we don't really have a website yet. <laughs> we kind of do with a splash page, but you could email us, and the email is sup at <laughs> beachclubs with three Z's <laughs> dot com. Um, or the Instagram, there's a beach club Instagram is good to message to. Yeah. yeah, I thought you guys you guys were gonna go with like it's not a bike brand or it's something. It's not a bike brand. Yeah, that would be that could be a thing. Yeah, I know. We're already confusing enough. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thanks uh, for the tour of uh, the Beach Club, and I'm gonna show you guys some B-roll. But this little pop-up shop where they sh where they're showing the bikes off is amazing. Uh, how much sand did you guys have to truck in here, by the way? Um, I think this is 800 pounds of sand. Holy smokes. Which seems crazy because it's not that thick on the floor, but there was a yeah. lot of bags. Yeah. Well, visit the website, check out Beach Club, and if you guys like this content, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and as always, keep the supple side down.